This video is the digitized original reel-to-reel -reel footage of Dr. Victor H. Frankel's groundbreaking experiments demonstrating the viscoelastic properties and failure mechanisms of loaded bone. The work, performed in Sweden in the early 1960s, was the basis for his PhD. Years later, as recognition for the sentinel work and his contributions to the field of orthopedics, Dr. Frankel was knighted by the King of Sweden. This talk concerns itself with the effect of energy on orthopedics. There are three kinds of energy, as you remember from high school. Potential energy, where height is very important. Kinetic energy, where velocity uh, is important, as it, it rates with the square of velocity. And its effects are internal, where you develop strain in the object, and external effects, where acceleration and kinetic energy begins again. We produced experimental fractures by using a torsion tester and dog bone from the dog lab. The fracture was recorded at 5,000 to 8,000 frames. After fracture, note the motion of the fragments moving at a rate of 300 miles per hour. The fracture machine also recorded the torque versus angular deformation and is visualized. The torque machine shows how a bone is potted and put between the two holders. The right side has a pendulum machine which when dropped twists the right holder vigorously while the left holder stays still. This of course is recorded uh, as a torque versus angular motion. Now we'll start the video with the recording after we show you the torque angular deformation curve. And the energy it took to cause this fracture is the area under the curve. First we have uh, intact dog femurs. They're potted and put in the machine. And now we will produce the fracture. It seems to take a very long time, but of course, the film is moving very rapidly. There it goes. Notice the fragments flying off, going into the soft tissues, if they were there, at 300 miles per hour. Fractures occur very quickly, but of course with our setup, we can slow the motion down a great deal. Here's another specimen. The pendulum is dropping, it's dropping. We wait. And there's the explosion. Look at the fragments. Look at the marrow being flung around. And of course this is free to drop to the floor. And you get some idea of the fast rate of photography. This is free fall. Here's a third specimen. And the test is going on. There it goes. Look at the fragments fly off of that tissue. Now to illustrate the fractures better, we will reverse this. Jagged edges. Here it comes. We're going to watch the watch the fragments. And of course, this is how we fix fractures at the Hospital for Joint Diseases in New York City. The next experiment shows the effect of a hole. The screw would have the same effect. It localizes the crack and weakens the bone. In humans, it may take 11 months for a hole to fill in after a screw is removed. If a screw is left in place, it's a stress riser for up to four years. In the next scene, we show you the effect of having a hole in the bone in the torsion tester. There it goes. Again, notice the fragments. The energy is not as high. There it's ready to fall to the floor. That's another one. 
doesn't take very much torque to break it with the hole in there. These are the curves showing on the left an intact side and on the right the side with a screw hole in it. Notice the area under the curve in this slide much greater with no screw hole and much less with the screw hole. This next experiment has a bone with an open sectioned effect. That is an effect that is approximately the length of the width of the bone. And notice how weakened that is. On the left, the normal bone. On the right, the bone with the open defect, which you can get from for, by removing this piece of bone for grafting uh, or a tumor. Notice the energy it takes to break the intact bone compared to the bone with the open section defect. Open, open section defects are dangerous. Demonstrate a transverse fracture using a heavy clamp and a human being. This is not a machine. And if we're photographing at, there you go, at very fast rates, so it takes slowly. Now here's here is the bend, and that shows you about the bend a bone can take before it breaks. Next we will show you the fracture. And notice how the fragments dig in to the soft tissues. This occurs in all fractures, whether it's torsion or bending. When we see a fracture x-ray in the emergency room, everything seems to be lined up. We don't realize how much deformation the bone has gone through at the moment of fracture. This, of course, has a lot to do with the prognosis, because the more motion, the greater energy, the greater the soft tissue damage to the vessels and nerves inside. So each case must be looked at as an energy transfer patient, and the energy has broken the bone. In the next short segment, we have bones with x-ray contrast put into the arteries, and we put them in a torsion machine and broke the bones, but of course we can't record the x-rays at 5,000 frames. So you can watch the fracture. After the fracture takes place, you see the deformation of the, of the soft tissues, and take pay particular attention to the arteries which are, are bent, coiled, elongated, and segmented. And that's why, of course, we have arterial damage during the course of a fracture.